my name is Aika Manir and this is my interview video for UNT's Master's in Clinical Mental Health Counseling Program. A few of the aspirations I have in regards to the field of counseling is that first of all I do want to obtain my master's in counseling so that I can someday pursue my dream of owning my own private practice um, in which I want it to be in the field of children's art therapy. And the main reason I'm wanting to work in this field is that I myself love creating art and I find that it is an excellent ass outlet for me um, and it allows me to express myself in a healthy way and I want to be able to help other children express themselves in that way as well. And the main reason I wanted to work with children is that I feel that it's very important to set children up for success and I believe that counseling is a good way of doing that just because by going to counseling it does help them develop those healthy coping skills as well as I believe that it helps set them up for success in their future adult life as well. Um, a couple of the, my life events that led me to wanting to pursue this career in counseling is that as a child I did struggle a lot with feelings of depression, anxiety, and low self-worth and because I had those experiences myself I don't want other children to experience that as well and if they are experiencing it I want to be able to help them handle those feelings in a healthy way. Um, the other thing as well is that Around the age of 15, I noticed that a lot of my friends did come to me for advice in their personal lives. And being there for my friends and being able to help add positivity, positivity and insight into their situation, as well as just providing advice was something that I really enjoyed. Um, and it brought me a lot of joy in my personal life just to know that I was helping my friends. And it was at that age that I decided that counseling was going to be something that I would want to pursue in my adult life just because I felt that was the best way for me to help people. Um, as far as my greatest personal asset, I feel like it would be that I'm an extremely goal-driven person. Um, I feel that it's important to constantly grow in life and I don't like the feeling of staying stagnant and my way of avoiding that is by setting goals for myself that I want to achieve. Um, a good example of this is that when I was 17, I graduated high school a year early and my mom had graduated college in three and a half years. And I remember telling her, hey mom, I'm gonna graduate with my bachelor's in three years. Um, so fast forward three years later, I will be receiving my bachelor's of arts in psychology in the summer um, at the age of 20. And throughout my entire college career, I've worked anywhere from about 30 to 40 hours a week. That way I could financially support myself as well as pay for my schooling. Um, all the while, I've been able to maintain a 3.5 GPA, which is an accomplishment that I'm super proud of. As far as a characteristic that I think I need to modify in my personal life, that would be as far as learning how to create a more balanced work, school, and social life. Uh, this is something that can be hard for me because, like I mentioned, I am very goal-driven and I do set high expectations for myself. And sometimes these high expectations make it hard for me to lead a balanced life. Um, last semester, I had just moved out and I was adjusting to living on my own as well as trying to go to work and school and I didn't make it a priority to spend time with myself or with the people that I valued in my life. So this semester at the beginning of the year, I decided that I would make not only myself but the people in my life a priority as well. And so what I've done to do that is Whenever possible, I try and go and spend time with my family and eat dinner with them, um, as well as make time for my own personal hobbies as well, just because I feel like it's important to spend time in those areas. That way you can be more balanced. Um, a few of the activities that demonstrate my commitment to this field is that, like I said earlier, I do enjoy being there for the people in my life. I feel that it is very important to let the people know that you care about them and that you love them and that they're there you're there for them if they ever need anything um the other thing as well is that even with strangers I do always try and ask them how they're doing just because I feel that it's important to give everybody the opportunity to be heard um as far as any other things that I think would make me a successful therapist is that I am a very empathetic person I feel that it's important to relate with people at the level that they're at just because it helps people not to feel as alone in whatever they're struggling with. Um, as well as I feel it's important to add positivity into people's lives and it is something that I strive to do. Thank you so much for watching my interview and I look forward to hearing from you.